the Joe Flacco, uh, Flacco sans, as we've termed it here, is unbelievable. It really is. And again, this, these are humans in helmets, right? And pads. And we, we, we always <clears throat> talk about their, their play and not think about that's a father of five at age 38 who's been sitting around all, I mean, honestly, <laughs> uh, he's been sitting around September, October, November, sitting around, I guess, doing workouts, figuring out, you know, sticking with his nutrition regimen, yeah. uh, what you have to do when Throwing. you're pushing 40, yeah, man. Absolutely. And keeping up. And I'm sure, you know, taking kids to school and picking the kids up at school and, Chris, you'll you'll find out. Parenting becomes chauffeuring. Yeah, absolutely. Okay, yep. and 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 the number of times I'm sure he's just like I'm working out, and I, I don't know Mrs. Flacco's name, but she deserves some mention right here because she's you know watching him be a quarterback again, or or hoping to be a quarterback again. And Dana, Dana must have. I mean, she deserves all the kudos as well. Certainly when she hears a soundbite from Joe Flacco like this. Guys look at you a little bit differently just because of the fact that I've played. This is the 16th year that I've been in this league. And you can tell that guys look at you a little bit differently just because of that. I mean, I'm dealing with, you know, I, I always say it. If I messed up in high school, I mean, I could be these kids' dads. You know, it's like, uh, it's, it, it's, so there is, you know, there's something that, you know, they probably do look at me a little bit differently just because of that. Uh, to get a sense of what kind of impact, who knows? Um, I'm just being myself and trying to help them win games. And I think when you're yourself, that's the best chance you have to impact people so hopefully i've had something to drink minimum flacco where's what we're getting right now i love it i love it I mean, <laughs> this is the storyline we did not know we needed and cleveland has full-on belief and hope and it is well founded for real because you've got a coach of the year already, could be two-time coach of the year, depending on how everything breaks for Kevin Stefanski, because there's a lot of other terrific candidates. One in Baltimore, clearly. One that could be in Houston. One that you could absolutely make a case for in Detroit. To name a few. But this defense and that offense, with this guy who's playing like the Super Bowl MVP he was and may be again. This is real, man. And good thing he didn't mess up in high school. Let's just put it that way. <laughs> QB1 in high school. <laughs> hey. But I remember Flacco, like where is he? He's just like, hey, I'm making hey, jokes. Hey, hey. What's up, guys? Winning games, 300 yards before halftime. Look at me taking naps. Winning games to the Cleveland Browns. Look out, AFC South winner. He's coming your way on Super Wild Card Weekend. Catch the Rich Eisen Show every single day on the Roku Channel, 12 to 3 Eastern, for free.